Hey guys, Daniel from Several Lands here. And uh, today we're gonna be adding a new custom script into our uh, server. To start, uh, I wanna make sure that you guys understand what is a custom script. Custom script is basically something that you can add into your core, into your server, uh, that does something that is not implemented already within the uh, Trinity Core um, <laughs> uh, server. So in case we need something a bit more specific, let's assume we want a Beastmaster uh, world chat, we want an in-game shop, we want a kill streak system, uh, transmogrification, reforging, all that stuff that comes in higher expansions, but we want to base it on 335. Uh, we can do that through custom scripting. Now, by default, the location of all the custom scripts that we can possibly have is either core modification, which takes place mostly here in source and uh, server, uh, or it takes place like all over the place here, game scripts and whatnot. Uh, some can apply configs as well configs being a uh, world config after you generate the solution and some take place in a bit more specific manner uh, without core modification it simply goes into custom folder now the custom folder please pay attention this is trinity core this is the core folder that we already have uh, source src server scripts and custom you will get used to it it's a bit long yes but you will get used to it very quickly now this is our uh, latest generated uh, core this is I can show you the revision a bit uh, it, it should be this one uh, this is my current revision this this is my current revision and this is what I'm going to use in order to apply something that I have in stock right now. Now please pay attention that I will not be using a popular uh, script to apply it nor does it have any additional functionality only to show you guys how to quickly implement a script. That's all I wish to have in this specific uh, class so this is my newly generated core I go into it I go into SRC I go to server I go to scripts and I go into costume now obviously I don't have anything in it uh, even though I should so how do we actually get started uh, to start first of all we will need our very own script now there are many scripts scattered around the web which we can use we can uh, update them we can customize them we can take them as examples which is what I recommend doing because this is how I learned how to script but for many people it might not be the best solution this script will be a terrific example to start and I will be publishing it as a link within this uh, specific course. Um, we will be adding this script into the core right now. So to start, we need to create a new CPP uh, file. CPP stands for C++. So we will call it um, serverlands script. We can also do serverlands script like that. As long as there is no space in it, it should be fine. Uh, the name doesn't really matter as long as you know what it what it does. It can be one that CPP if you want, but obviously you will want to know what it does. So I will call it serverland script one dot CPP. Why one? Because this is what I did in here as the script uh, script link, and this is the script name within its class and public and. Yeah, basically it's easier for me to handle it. Uh, we will be doing right click, adding edit with notepad, and I will be copying all of the information in here 
and I will be pasting it right into the notepad plus plus and I will be saving it now after I'm done here I will need one thing I will need to copy this specific statement and we will need to do a few things first of all we will need to go back into the server lens and we will need to go into the generated folder which is called bin we go in here and we open trinitycore.sln this is the solution it will open the compiler <coughs> now within the compiler uh, we will need to uh, go back into the uh, custom folder I will go back from the beginning my folder is in desktop server lens core SRC server scripts and custom and I will be dragging this one in here okay this is one way to do it the other way to do it in order to make this appear over here is going in here scripts you see this arrow you click on it go to custom and you go in here now please notice that when you double click this one appears which is which is what it's supposed to do but we do not have the new server land script 1.cpp file in it why is that this is because when we generate a solution it uses a cmake functionality to make sure that all the scripts that are listed in here uh, this is where we declare things and this is where we state uh, that they're in the core so when they're listed in here as I will do in a second they will be listed in here as well this is how we know if something is being listed or not so to do that this is where we actually state our script now at the end we do need to use semicolon so that is uh, important to keep in mind because without it you will see an error an error sorry and yeah we will need to close it now you will see this green uh, thing underneath the text that means that it is not being used anywhere now in order to use it we do need between the brackets we will need to paste this one but this is not where we declare it this is where we call it and that means that we will need to remove the new um, statement and again semicolon now that is done okay that was very simple uh, what we need to do now is we will need to build the solution once again uh, to make sure that this is actually this will be within the core itself now it will not work the first time we actually use it because our CMake configuration does not include this path specifically right now that means we will need to do CMake all over again so to do that we will do exactly what we did in the first uh, first course you might have taken it we will call it build 2 we will configure it exactly same conditions as we previously had uh, my folder does not exist right now <coughs> what I have is only build and these two well these three actually so yes it will create a new folder for us now I tick x64 uh, 64 bit and I do finish let it do its thing all right configuration done we will press configure again and then we will generate until there is no more red screen generate all right awesome so that is done we don't need this one anymore we can safely close it now we will need to go into build 2 and we have a new solution trinitycore.sln when we press on it when we double click it 
please notice that the so the uh, source location the core folder changed but the solution has uh, been redone from scratch so this is not equal this this is uh, more updated than this we will go into our scripts custom and boom we have serverland scripts uh, serverland script one.cpp now that is done and as you can probably see i implemented this on purpose uh, this is not how it used to be previously to do that to to, uh, to fix it there is one simple solution we can actually do that does not require too much work uh it does it automatically we simply delete this bracket and it will organize everything as we see f as it should appear uh with proper spacing between everything we will re-enter the bracket and it fixed it exactly as it should be so that is done and it might linger here for a, a bit but it should work um possibly a few missing include scripted gossip should fix include player dot h and include uh, creature dot h you want all right that took a bit of time so we will change it back into release with debug information and we will build the solution now if let's assume we will open the new the the old build folder and we will generate it it will print an error as if that script does not exist and it has a few complications and basically it will force us to regenerate this uh this new gen this new build folder so well that is possible to do assuming the script is already in that is not possible if we will simply add a new script from scratch so do keep that in mind i updated the script and this is how it should look like um at all times so we will go in here and we will uh, build the solution now while that is being done in the background that will take some time so in the meanwhile I will show you guys how to link the script into uh, the database itself